All right, good morning. Okay, so today I'm going to talk about Revelation chapter 1. All right, if I can get there. Chapter 1, I'm going to focus on verse 11. All right, I, I would hope that uh, most of you are familiar with uh, Revelation. And uh, I think I got time, so I'm just going to go ahead and read all the way down to verse 11. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. And he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant John, who bare record of the word of God and of the testimony of Jesus Christ and of all things that he saw. Blessed is he that readeth. And they that hear the words of this prophecy, and keep those things which are written therein, for the time is at hand. John, to the seven churches which are in Asia, grace be unto you, and peace from him which is, and which was, and which is to come, and from the seven spirits which, which are before his throne, and from Jesus Christ, who is the faithful witness, and the first begotten of the dead, and the prince of the kings of the earth, unto him that loved us, and washed us from our sins in his own blood, and has made us kings and priests unto God and his Father, to be, to him be glory and dominion for ever and ever. Amen. Behold, he comes in with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him, and all kindreds of the earth shall will because of him, even so. Amen. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the ending, saith the Lord, which is, and which was, and which is to come, the Almighty. I, John, who also am your brother and companion in tribulation, and in the kingdom and patience of Jesus Christ, was in the isle that is called Patmos, for the word of God and for the testimony of Jesus Christ. I was in the Spirit on the Lord's day, and heard behind me a great voice, as of a trumpet, saying, I am Alpha and Omega, the first and the last, and what thou seest, write in a book, and send it unto the seven churches which are in Asia, unto Ephesus, and unto Smyrna, and unto Pergamos, and unto Thyatira, and unto Sardis, and unto Philadelphia, and unto Laodicea. Laod Okay, so I can't say it. I can read it, but I can't say it. Alright, so let's focus in on verse 11, because this is kind of interesting. And um, so let's take a look at verse 11 here. Alright, so I want you to notice. Um, this very first phrase here, and let's compare it to other versions. All right, so we got the complete Jewish Bible. It says, saying, write down what you see on a scroll and send it to the seven messianic communities. And gives all the names. Okay, so these guys, they scratch out this. And... Well, they scratched out the whole thing, didn't they? Saying, I am Alpha and Omega, the first and the last. And what thou seest. So that whole, this whole part is eliminated. All right. And uh, let's see. And they changed seven churches to seven messianic communities. All right. So that's interesting. How, why would they take out Jesus saying, I am Alpha and Omega and the first and the last? Uh, do you know the reason why they do that? Uh, it's the same reason that the ESV takes it out. See that? Saying, I am Alpha and Omega, the first and the last. And the ESV, they also take it out. How is it that these two guys remove the same portion of the text <clears throat> you see where I'm getting at why why are these two guys in agreement 
in contrary to the King James Bible. Let's see who else do we got here. The New American Standard Bible. Also removes I am Alpha and Omega and the first and the last. Now why are all these different versions in agreement against the King James Bible? They got a silly or in a book, right on a scroll or in a book. Yeah. yeah well it ended up in a book, didn't it? So and as the reason is is interesting because it's the UBS, the United Bible Society critical text removes it. Okay. So uh there are texts that don't have it, and there are texts that do have it. The King James Bible does have it, and they got it right. Now, why is, for one thing, it's interesting, the United Bible Society, the UBS, does not have those words, I am Alpha and Omega, the first and the last, which is what they are based on, right? But also interesting, the Vaticanus doesn't have it either and uh, you know uh, the Vaticanus doesn't even have the book of Revelation at all so not only does the Vaticanus not have this uh, they don't have any of that they don't even have that they ha it's completely removed so um, it's interesting because uh, that seems to be a problem, doesn't it? When you don't even have the book, how are you going to be able to dictate Bible versions? So let's take a look at one more. The NIV, right? They also remove this, all based on the UBS critical text. And so who... Are you going, I mean, these are the main versions, are they not? The complete Jewish Bible. People think they're uh, magic in these words, and they're removed. The same with the ESV, the NASB, the NIV. These are the most popular Bible versions. People say it's easier to read. Well, yeah, when you remove half the words, it is easier to read, isn't it? Uh, <clears throat> so, anyways, I just wanted to share that with you. Uh, if you have any thoughts and opinions on it, appreciate it. Good day.